It's Filipino comfort food time. <laughs> it's a tiny little onion, which will be destroyed in my belly. It's like a, a tangy taste test for your taste buds. We So, so satisfying. Perfect comfort food. Kein Tayo! <laughs> Every once in a while, you make food discoveries that just are so memorable, exciting, tasty, tongue tingly awesome that you feel the urge to go back again and again and again. And well, today we are going to be trying some more of that food. A few months ago, we went to this restaurant the very first time and we missed a crucial dish on their menu. So we had to go back. And now, today, Nelly and I are actually working in our kitchen, we bringing it up to spec as we would like to have it, and we discovered that that urge for this food is coming up again. So we thought we'd try it today for takeaway and show you guys what we think. What am I talking about? But before we get feasting, Nelly's gonna do a little bit of introduction of what we're eating, and if we're having amazing Filipino comfort food, then we should have some amazing Filipino craft beer as well one of my favorite beers at the moment. By the way, there's an Austrian law that says every Austrian citizen is supposed to be able to open a bottle of beer with anything in this world. Seriously. It's a true fact. True, <laughs> true fact, fact about... Whoa! Okay, okay, let's not do that. <laughs> my chef's knife. By the way, guys, this here is the Encanto IPA. And I believe Encanto means ghost, hence the ghost face on the bottle cap and this has been my favorite craft beer in the Philippines for a few months. I really really love the um, other brand which is Joe's Brew. Really really awesome but Encanto at the moment is much easier to get. I feel like there's been a little bit of a problem in the supply chain of Joe's Brew but now that we're back in Manila maybe we can get some. Anyway, I discovered there are tons and tons of Filipino craft beers and I want to know from you guys in the comments down below if you would like me and Nelly, if you would like Nelly and I, my mom's gonna be in the comments, it's Nelly and I, it's not me and Nelly. But if you would like Nelly and I to review Philippine craft beers. Yes. Comment down below, hashtag craft beer review now. <laughs> That's elaborate. So You're always, he's always so creative with the hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever uses them. Why do you, why do you leave, leave me hanging, guys? <laughs> All right, Nelly, what, what have we got? What do you want? Unbox my food with me, Nelly's food unboxing review. Let me start with the most essential thing: garlic rice. Ooh, <laughs> looks so good. We haven't had rice in a while. In a very long time. Yeah, we are on a diet, so today we are kind of not dieting. Not dieting. Mike lost two and a half kilos in the last ten days. I lost three. I already saw. Three. I already saw comments. Three. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what is yeah, this? Yeah. So these are Gabi chips. Ooh. Do you know what Gabi is? This. Gabi. This. Uh, it's, it's a root. It's a root. It's taro. Taro root. It tastes super, super delicious when it's like this. Um, oh my god. And we have some garlic aioli, I, I guess. So, yes, I Good guess. Good. Good. Why is this so hard <laughs> to open? Okay, so this is corn bistec. Um, Ah, so delicious. Looks so, so good. Next up we have, oh, this is the sizzling, well, not now, but it's the sizzling sinigan. Oh, by the way, guys, I made a sinigan two days ago. Yeah, we didn't vlog it, but it was so good. Yeah, and this here is, oh, this is something very garlicky. Oh, it's Whoa. the garlic baby squid. <gasps> wow, it's just swimming in this yeah. amazing garlic oil. Oi, oi, oi. Nobody ever said that Lokobori food is for your diet. It's no, for your it's heart. <laughs> it's for your. It's comfort food. It's for your happiness. Leave a big fat thumbs up if food also makes you happy, and also leave a thumb up if you escape into food to find happiness. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. Ooh, Ooh. Is this a turon? That's the turon. I just wanna eat turon. Yeah. There's more. That's for the sizzling. Ah, that's for the sizzling sinigan. Okay, I got it. Mm. All right, so this goes over here. Okay, amazing. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh,
Guys, I will I say what I like about this restaurant is that they're using cardboard um, dishes because now during quarantine, so many people are ordering food, so it's already creating a lot of waste. Yeah. It would make it worse if it's plastic containers. But I will say, wow. we have not thrown away any plas any of the plastic containers that we've yeah. received. We use them for you know pickling things, for storage. storing, for putting in doughs, letting doughs rise. So I use it in the kitchen a lot. We literally have like 20 of them. And when we have leftovers, we just put it in, into the fridge. So practical. Yeah. Okay. Quick. <laughs> Wow, wow, this looks absolutely phenomenal. Kein Tayo! Kein Tayo! <laughs> oh, cheers, Nelly. Cheers! <laughs> Shall we ah. try the Gabi chips first? Garby they chips, seem like yes. a little bit of a appetizer. These are the Gabi chips. The Crunch Supreme. What goes with the Gabi chips? I think okay, so we have the that. aioli. So we have some kind of aioli here. And we also have some mayonnaise, but I think the mayonnaise goes with something else. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna just give the aioli a tip. Try. Oh. Mm. Wow. Oh. So good. Mmm. Mm. The. Oh, the aioli is good. Nice and garlicky. Mmm. Crispy. This mm. is some serious ASMR. Maybe I should go closer to the microphone. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think you have to. Yeah, it's so, so crunchy. And... It's yummy. It, this doesn't... I wouldn't say it tastes like a potato. No. Mm. It's very neutral taste, but so the sauce is all, it's the star of the show. Yeah, it's a really nice hint of... <laughs> crunchiness. <laughs> so good. Sorry, I didn't know what to say. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, and this goes really well with the beer. Yeah. This you know, is a really nice starter. You can buy these vegetable chips, the really expensive ones, the Terra ones. Mm -hmm. They have these inside and I know in Miami those chips were so expensive, it was like $5 a packet, mm -hmm. crazy. So you can make these at home. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend 5 to $8 per yeah. package. So good. And I think I prefer these over um, the normal potato chips. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. really nice. What are we gonna try next? Mm. Should we try the bistec? Because we've never had bistec before. Crazy, right? We've never had bistec before in the Philippines. Mm. I was aiming for the squid. But well, we can mix it up. So the squid we try with the rice, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the squid is very, very oily, very fatty. So you need some rice to kind of balance the, the richness of the dish. It smells... Oh, it smells phenomenal. Oh, yum. Got a big heap of mm. squid. So garlicky. Mm. Garlic overload, no kissing tonight. Well, if we, <laughs> if, we, if we both eat this much garlic, it doesn't really matter. Really? I don't know. I think it matters. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. yeah. Garlic and seafood, just mm. a match made oh in God. heaven. Wow, the squid is so fresh. Mm. Yeah, this what is, else is in here? This is so garlic. <laughs> it's just garlic? Some herbs? Yeah. Oh guys, garlic I wish oil. you could. No, that's not oil. I wish you could taste this right now. This is so so good. Wow. Oh wow. So yum. Ah, oh, this is so satisfying. Mm. It's so so satisfying. Mm. Perfect comfort food. The last time when we went to Lokavore we had the shrimps and they are super, super delicious, but they are more on the pricey side. So they are almost a yeah. thousand pesos, um, which is quite... Yeah, I think that's just something for special occasions. Yeah. yeah. But, oh my God, this is, this is pure mm -hmm. heaven. This is so good. If you happen to go to Locavore, order the squid. Mm -hmm. Highly recommended. Okay, I'm a very first time having the bistec, but this is like a corned beef bistec, they yeah. call it. Oh, wow. wow. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so good. Some green beans. 
yeah we have some green beans some red onion tomato um and the sauce sauce wow lovely 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 ah oh, look at this the meat pulls apart very easily i need more rice rice In here, mm. it smells very rich, hearty. We, mm. mm. it, it's a little bit sour. I love sour. It almost tastes like like the sauce, and I mean this with all res due respect. Yeah. It has a hint of sour cream Pringles. Oh taste. my god! <laughs> really good. Yeah, we love sour cream Pringles. Yeah, so, so that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm saying it sounds weird, but but I wonder in a good what, way. what it makes it sour. Oh, I love the sourness. Yeah, mm. it's so good. Is it like normal for bistec to have like this? I would say the Pringle taste. Mm. That is not. Mm. Mm. So good. Yeah. Okay, when it comes to the corned beef, I think it can't beat the. Um, Never. The breakfast that Never. we did in Tagaytay, that Guys, was phenomenal. If you want the best corned beef in the world, then <laughs> Tagaytay and to breakfast, no, not breakfast at Antonio's, it's also by the same restaurant group. Mm -hmm. I'll link the video right oh, here. Transcending. And what I like about this one is that there's still some gelatin on the meat, so it's kind of really... really Tender but chewy. It's chewy, but it, it's also not so dry. Yeah. So, hmm. Give a little bit of this going on here. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit through watching us eat this whole dish. We'll finish it off camera. <laughs> um, next up is the sizzling sinigam. Mm -hmm. And what's the meat with it? Is that beef? Seems like so similar. A little bit. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a bite like this. Obviously, with some rice. Lovely. 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 Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, Sinigan, my favorite. But flavor wise, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. This has like the creamy sour. Mm -hmm. That's just like the sour, but without that creme fraiche kind of taste. Yeah. What is this? Cute little thingy here. Is this like a. It's an onion. It's a tiny little onion <laughs> which will be destroyed in my belly. Um. For the record, Mike's brother makes fun of Mike when he eats on um, the YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had it for, was it for Christmas? Yeah, yeah. So we were sitting at the Christmas table and I think it was actually my dad started yeah. going like, trying to imitate me like saying like oh oh it's so good and then my brother starts he said no 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 you're doing it wrong you gotta go like this <laughs> <laughs> Nelly mm -hmm. just a second like the meat in this dish falls apart more it's like almost I wouldn't mm -hmm. say more tender but definitely yeah this different. one is this one is very chewy it's not what do you say? I just wanted to say it's not st stiff. I don't know if that's the right, right expression to stiff. <laughs> yeah. Also, I love the green beans and the onions here and everything here. Yeah. More rice. Right. This is actually the first like takeout food we've had in a very long time. We've been just cooking at home now. Yeah. I think. Last time was somewhere in the beginning of last week. The sizzling sinigan. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, we had that dish um, when, we were there. when we were there a few months ago. We were blown away because it's basically what you have in the soup, but just very. It's like the dry version. Mm. I'd say you just take a cinnamon and you reduce it and intensify it, and yeah. the thicker it gets, the the more of this amazing sour, beautiful tangy taste mm -hmm. you have. It's like a, a tangy taste test for your taste buds. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell which, so which sauce I like more. Yeah, I think the Sinigang. Sinigang? Mm. I would say for me it's a draw. 
Okay, then if we have the option, it's a draw for me as well. <laughs> but I am going more for the Senegal though. Welcome to the Grand Final. Turan. <laughs> so a fun fact, our very first Turan experience we had at Toby's estate. We didn't eat Turan from Toby's estate. No, one of our long-term viewers, Kurt, Kurt. Uh, whose birthday was just recently. Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> we he sent you a video <laughs> message. He brought it to us, uh, to Toby's estate, to yeah. have some coffee with us and to taste the Turan. And it was delicious. Yes. And now we have here a rather artsy rendition. Yeah, of it's, it's like the... I don't know, the shape is kind of different. Anyways, we are going to cut this apart and we have here some, mm, I believe, leche. Leche, Dol dolce de leche. Dolce de leche, dolce de leche. Ui. That's what's inside. Okay, take a piece. Drag it through the dolce de leche. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yummy. Mm. I don't last for words. Mm. Very delicious. Mm. Okay guys, this was an amazing mm. meal and I feel like we should start a series which is called either Takeout Tuesday or Takeout Thursday where we try the best takeout places mm -hmm. in the metro. Yes. Um, and maybe we can give them like a takeout score mm -hmm. where we can kind of mm. decide how on a scale from 1 to 10 uh, convenience, mm -hmm. deliciousness. Mm -hmm. For me, the convenience is quite good because you can order it on Food Panda. Mm -hmm. In our case, we didn't. We actually called in because they didn't have all options on Food Panda. Yeah. So we called in our order and we drove there and picked it up because it was very close by. So yeah. convenience would be 10 out of 10, but because they didn't have all of the options, it brings it down to 8 from 10. For me, it's 9, 9 out of 10 because I had to call. I hate to call. <laughs> so yeah. What's up with uh, people that call people? <laughs> I was just very. I don't know. Mm, I know. Not diversity. Take away ability. Take away ability. Because. Take away ability. Yeah. Last time we talked take away and did a video. It was from Toyo. Yes. And that was take away ability was ten from ten because the dish was as delicious as we had it in the restaurant. Whereas here, a few of the dishes were just a little bit cold already. Yeah. And I feel like in the restaurant, they would be even better. Mm -hmm. Pizza is 10 from 10 take, take away ability. Mm. So definitely a great restaurant to get your food. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you have any recommendations of takeaway places yes. we need to try in the metro, preferably Makati, Makati because that's where <laughs> we're located, then do let us know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. Definitely also head over to Instagram, Nelly's Life underline, underline, and making it happen vlog, give us a follow, shoot us a message. Also, share maybe some Instagram stories with us of yeah. places where you see like, you see amazing food? Yes. Send, send us it. an Instagram story. Send it. Exactly. <laughs> and with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Same time, same place. Yes. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make, make it, it happen. Bye-bye.